Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 8th of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Excel Jeff Ayers and ECM Ensembles. Maybe I'll try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us more or less to the end of November. Now, I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first, the video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We've just hit um, 18.9k, by the way. So, uh, like, we are bang on 18,900 subscribers. If you could give us a sub uh, and help get us definitively through 18.9k, uh, then that would be absolutely awesome. About another 5, 10 subscribers and we'll be safely past 18.9k. But thank you so much everyone for uh, getting us to 18,900 subscribers. Unbelievable. Thank you so much everyone. Uh, right, okay, let's start our centering temperature. That we're seeing is uh, still sitting at 11.4. 11, 11 that is uh, nearly one degree above the 61 to 99 average provisional to yesterday to the 28th of uh, October then. So, a mild month, nothing particularly um, outrageous or unusual, other than the fact that we're going to finish up in the 11s. We haven't had an 11 Celsius CT uh, finish for October since 2009, I don't think. So, uh, that's quite unusual. But uh, in terms of the anomaly, you know, nothing particularly uh, standing out there as being uh, all that uh, unusual. This is rather unusual, though. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for London. So about average with the upper air temperature at the moment. But they're going to be lifting up um, in the next day or so. And then staying consistently and persistently uh, above average, really, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, unbelievable. So it goes back 31st of October to the 14th of November, almost to the middle of November, with the GFS ensembles. Um, and, uh, and, and that just significantly and persistently above average, a prolonged spell of above average upper air temperatures to come. It's going to be high pressure dominated, so uh, we can also see that uh, there's barely any precipitation for the next week to 10 days, and even in the extended, there's only a few precipitation spikes. So we might have like a couple of weeks of completely dry weather with this area of high pressure, more or less. Um, and, uh, and so although the upper air temperatures are going up to like 10 degrees or more, at 815 HPA, which is very mild. Due to the time of the year, we might not be that, that warm on the surface, um, if you get what I mean. So we might start getting fog going with this. We could get a lot of low cloud and anticyclonic gloom as well. And all of that could have the, uh, the potential to limit the temperature on the surface uh, a little bit. But even so, it is, it is going to be quite mild, I think, certainly initially with this area of the high pressure. Uh, temperature anomaly is on the 29th of October, 6th of November, above average, nothing exceptional, but, you know, persistent, like, two, couple of degrees above average, two or three degrees above normal, not just in the UK, but through most parts of Europe included in that as well, and precipitation anomaly is on the 29th of October, 6th of November, well, very, very dry, <laughs> significantly drier than normal. The latest rhythm of that from Earth, no school dot net shows that high pressure is taking over uh, now. Fundamentally, it's a mild ridge, it's building up from the Azores, that's the Azores high just there, and the ridge is building into the West Europe. At the moment, it is, it is a ridge, but it will form, you know, a proper area of high pressure in the next 24 hours. And we see it's very nice, uh, nice with chart data. This is the latest UK Met Euro run for midnight on Friday. High pressure dominating the weather. There's a weather system coming to Scotland that will bring some outbreaks of rain. And then over the weekend, high pressure, you know, uh, takes over. We're high and dry through the weekend. And that high pressure continues on into next week as well. So I'll get to with the UK Met Euro run is to midnight on Tuesday. Next week, 5th of November, bonfire night. And still with high pressure in control. Weather system trying to come in from West could bring some shadows bursting into Ireland, but for most of the UK, we're uh, mostly dry there. Winds up from the south, so uh, mild. There might be fog and that uh, developing, so we'll know a little bit closer to um, uh, a little bit closer to the time uh, what what, what uh, the actual um, 
parameters within the high pressure, uh, whether it's a clear high or a cloudy high, you know, whether we generate, start generating fog and that sort of thing. We'll know a little bit more in a few days. Uh, I can't, again, high pressure in control for Friday and then into the weekend, high pressure dominating, uh, high pressure still in control through to the uh, early part of next week as well. Shifting to the east, so a weather system could bring some shade bursts into west, but again, lots of dry weather there. Um, with uh, with Icon, right, the KMA, much of a muchness for uh, the end of this week and into the weekend. High pressure well and truly in control and in the ascendancy. Persistent high pressure lasting then throughout uh, next week and taking us all the way to the 10th of November. So the first 10 days of November dominated by high pressure. Imagine if this was, uh, I don't know, imagine if this was July or August rather than November. That would be getting very, very hot under that persistent area of high pressure. Uh, the main things that could be uh, completely dry by looking at it for the first 10 days of November, which is quite unusual. This is a generally fairly wet time of the year, uh, you know, a lot of the time. So, pretty unusual pattern, especially after the very wet September. We're certainly doing things uh, rather differently with this uh, with this autumn, aren't we? This was GFS Midnight Run again. High pressure dominates wherever. If I had a pound, every time I say high pressure, I would be a rich man at the end <laughs> at the end of this video. Uh, high pressure man in control through the weekend. It carries on, ooh, carries on dominating. Just not the mic. Carries on dominating through to the early to middle part of next week as well, and up to day ten and beyond. It well at day. It looks like the high pressure is going to slip out towards um, Eastern Europe, but then it just reforms again, uh, just beyond day 10 to day 11, uh, 1,035 millibar area of high pressure there. Saturday the 9th of November, just reinforcing the anticyclone, and the high pressure goes on and on and on and on, on. Uh, right way to the end of GFS Midnight Rain, gets the 14th of November, we're still high and dry. Now we start with GFS 6 Zeb is looking by comparison, again, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, uh, through the first week, 10 days of, uh, of uh, November, but uh, day 10, 8th of November, looks like it's about to start um, shifting over towards the east of uh, Europe, but again, similar to the midnight run, it kind of re uh, reanimates, rebuilds out uh, towards the west of Europe, just keeps the fine weather going all the way up to the very end of the GFS 6 head run. By the end of the 6 head run, 14th of November, it looks like high pressure is trying to get up towards Scandinavia. Um, but there's not much cold, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, not much cold. If the wind did, did get into the east, it would take a while to start importing some proper cold um, temperatures. But interesting that the high pressure wants to get to Scandinavia by the end of GFS 6. I'm trying to find something <laughs> interesting to talk about. Uh, well, it, what is interesting is that we just hit 18.9k subscribers. So uh, if you could give us a sub, um, that would be absolutely awesome. Thanks for actually getting us to 18,900 subscribers. Subscribe and tell your friends and family about Gals Worthings and uh, get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM again with high pressure uh, in control on Friday and every weekend. High pressure dominates through to next week as well. Um, Loads of anti cyclonic influences carrying on all the way up to day 10. By day 10, which is the 8th of November, we've got a 1,040 millibar area of high pressure sitting over Scotland. Um, so uh, that high pressure is going nowhere fast, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, and then the ECM looks like this. Again, high pressure is in control and in the ascendancy through the end of week and through the weekend as well. On into next week, it's high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Middle of next week, high pressure trying to get up towards Scandinavia, but doesn't stick there. It just uh, shifts back southwards again to centre around Germany and Poland. And that's the setup at day 10. Hope Possibly trying to push a trough through at uh, day 10, bring some rain in from the uh, west. However, it that's within an, uh, a broad area of high pressure mode. So I suspect if we could go on another, another 24 hours, which we can't, but if we could, we will find that the high pressure kind of reforms again at day 11. This is the precipitation forecast based on that at each run from tometro.com. We will uh, go through this very, very quickly because there's not going to be much precipitation over the next 10 days, obviously, with all that high pressure domination. Just at the very end, we start bringing 
towards um, showery bursting from the west. So uh, a little bit of rain by about day 10. But of course, that is a very long way off and is unreliable. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from ECM.int. So 51 out of 50 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them, have high pressure dominating uh, across the, uh, across Europe and centering towards the uh, UK and Ireland. So we're high and dry with all options with the ECM ensembles at day 10. And to me, time means are the options that we've got, and it gets us to the 13th of November. So we've got 16 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure uh, dominating. <laughs> so still high and dry uh, there. And then we have got 15 with high pressure. That's a little bit further northward, so it's still dominated by high pressure, but um, it could be a little bit colder, a little bit more of an easterly flow, I guess. And uh, then we have got uh, 30 members of the East Hill Souls again with the high pressure sort of slipping more towards the east down to southwest. Low pressure starting to try and get in from off the land. So that might be starting to break down high pressure a little bit. And then we've got seven that have returned us to unsettled conditions with uh, low pressure in from the Atlantic, high pressure, high pressure slipping down to France, Spain and Portugal and uh, winds going into the west. So obviously that's the most unsettled option. But only seven... Uh, very, uh, very much a minority option uh, at two weeks out to turn things unsettled. And before then, it's just high pressure, high pressure, high pressure all the way. Uh, right, CFS, and then we'll get it wrapped up. These are 500 mil of our high tolerance, breaking down to week beer. It's the first week beer, takes us from the 29th of October, 4th of November. The next week is dominated by above average heights, which is high pressure. Ding! <laughs> Um, that week two will be the uh, fifth week to be 11th of November and uh, high pressure remains in control. Ding! <laughs> week three! will be the uh, 12th to the 18th of uh, November. High pressure, ding, <laughs> moves out to the west of the UK and ironed around that we bring the wind in from uh, more of a northwest direction. So still mostly dry, might be a bit showery in the north and the east, I guess. Um, and with uh, some lower temperatures as well, some slightly cooler air coming in from the north. And then week four, it's the 19th, 25th of November. It looks like the above average height High pressure, ding, is uh, slipping southwards with some low pressure there starting to come in from off the Atlantic. So by week four, we might be returning back to something a little bit more unsettled. But again, that's a long way off. It's unreliable time frame stuff. And before then, we have lots and lots of high pressure to come. So uh, there we go. <laughs> We're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's so we think about this on all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about it as well as get them to subscribe too. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. So, yes, we're not going to be in for the most exciting spell of weather uh, that we've ever had. <laughs> I really could take a couple of weeks off, uh, couldn't I? You know, and uh, just, just leave a bit. But I'm not going to. We shall uh, persevere with it. And it won't be interesting to see, you know, fundamentally what the high pressure is, is like, whether it's a clear high or a cloudy high, whether we get missed and fell uh, under the high and whatnot. So uh, we'll be keeping things updated uh, over the uh, next uh, couple of weeks during this very static spell of uh, anti-cyclonic weather that's on the way. Have to take a good we uh, rough with a smooth, don't you, <laughs> in this business. Uh, anyway, that's it for today's videos and content. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 UK weather forecast. Let's say it's European Outlook. Uh, we'll be live at 6 p.m. with your 10 to 14 day. So uh, I shall see you live tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how things are looking then. But for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.